In this video, I want to show you how you can use Google Slides Presenter View to be able to see your notes and share your slides with the audience in a Zoom or Teams meeting. Now, Google Slides, uh, you can just upload your file to Google Drive. Now, if you've already created your presentation on Google Slides, then it's already there. But this is a PowerPoint file that I've uploaded here, and you notice it has the PPTX, so it's a PowerPoint file. And when you open it in Google Slides, I'll double click on it, it gives you a preview, and then you can drop this arrow down here, open with Google Slides. And it analyzes the file, and if it finds that there are some features you have used in PowerPoint that Google Slides does not support, it gives you this warning up at the top, some features can't be displayed and you can click on view details to see what it is. In this case it says some shape effects will be removed. I've used a glow on one of the shapes and that's what it's removing. What it does not say here is that the morph transition I used in PowerPoint is not supported by Google Slides. So you really do need to go through your presentation and make sure everything is supported in order to make sure it's going to look the way it's supposed to. So if that's the case then what we can do is we can use the presenter view in Google Slides. And the advantage to this over PowerPoint's presenter view, if you only have one screen, is that it shows you the notes and the slides all on the same screen, and you can easily share just those slides. So I've already got a Zoom meeting going over there. You can see that. What I'm going to do is in Google Slides, I'm going to drop this arrow down, and I'm going to say I want presenter view. And you'll notice what it does is it opens up this presenter view window over on the left and it shows me my slides, the next build, my notes. I can make this particular window here. I can adjust it so it's bigger. I can drag this divider so the slide is bigger. I can increase the font on my notes if I need to see that. So you have a lot of different options there to be able to have presenter view the way you want it to look. So now I've got two different windows. So in Zoom, when I go to share my screen here, um, what I can do is simply share this particular browser. Because the presenter view is a separate window, I can simply share that browser. And now you notice the, with the green outline here, that's what Zoom is sharing. So Zoom is sharing that. So if I want to now go and let's say I'm going to uh, record, so you can see what this looks like to the audience, uh, I can do that. So I can also, uh, what I need to do to present, by the way, is you need to click on this browser window. Notice how it turns gray. So that means focus is now on that browser window. You need that because now you are going to use your arrow keys to move through and you see how on my presenter view, I'm seeing what the next build is, what the previous was. I'm seeing my new notes, but the audience is only seeing my slides in the browser because essentially I'm sharing the browser and the slides are taking up the entire browser. Notice that depending on your slide size, I've got some black bars on the top and the bottom of the slide. So you could adjust your browser size if you, if you want that to fit uh, a little tighter on your slides. But that's how we can use Google Slides Presenter View. It's nice because on a single screen, you see both and you share only one with the audience. And the sharing in Zoom, very easy sharing in Teams is very similar. You just simply share that one browser window. When you're done on Zoom, you simply say, okay, I want to stop sharing. You go back to your Zoom meeting. You go back to your slides. You can either hit escape or you can go down here and click exit. By the way, you can use any of these tools. So whether you want to use a laser pointer uh, here where you can turn it on and then goes there, turn it off, or you can jump to any slide by simply using this uh, drop down list here. So it does give you the options to do that in the slideshow window of Google Slides. And all of that's available when you're sharing it as well. So you can exit by either clicking on the exit button here or just hitting the escape key on your keyboard. And it allows you to potentially use this method of presenter view if you have a single screen using it through Google Slides instead of using it through PowerPoint because PowerPoint's presenter view takes up the whole screen and it makes it harder to share in Zoom and Teams. 
Obviously, you want to make sure that, first of all, all the features are supported that you've used in PowerPoint. And secondly, maybe most importantly, make sure that by uploading your file to a Google server, you're not violating information privacy rules in your organization. When you're done, you can simply close this particular file in uh, Google Drive and go back to your list of files. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.